Hello friends, I am here before you to discuss on the topic called as demand forecasting. Most important thing is normally again, see the when we predict the future of a particular person, we may be in mistake, is it not? We may be mistaken. But when we forecast that this is your future, so in such case there is no mistake in that because it is based on the past data, past experience, past variables, past records. So in such case, what we is what is required is normally predictions can be made by anyone, but forecasting cannot be made by anyone. It should be made only by the professionals. Same logic is applied in the case of normally as in the forecasting the demand for a particular product and services so forecasting involves normally the, the respective understanding of normally see the where the product lies in future based on the past sales data based on the past records of the organization past records of the products past records of the services so that is the one thing so the forecasting should be done only by the professionals say company professionals only what is important in the case of the forecasting is what type of product or services are considered the type of products whatever is there say whether it is FMCG product whether it is a consumer durable product whether it is normally industrial product or whether it is normally commonly used product by the respective people so that is to be considered second one is nature of the markets whether the, the market is booming whether it is in recession whether it is normally in the growth phase that has to be considered third important thing is that normally again the respective the judgment given by the people people's opinion or experts opinion these have to be considered so this is also one important variable which you have to consider before before you go for the forecasting of a demand there and then normally most important thing is that the nature of commodity also to be considered there when we consider normally the demand forecasting what are the ways in which normally we can do the demand forecasting as far as company is concerned the company undertakes two important methods when it is when the demand is forecasted the first one is called as qualitative methods and second one is quantitative method qualitative methods are the methods in which normally see we use normally the opinions various the opinions then surveys and then we also come across normally in the case of qualitative opinions normally again it is purely based on the responses given by the respondents so here we don't use any numbers here we don't use any kind of tools etc so the, everything is based on responses so what are the met methods which are used in qualitative techniques are first one is called as normally the interview method in the interview method what happens is normally again the respective company per person comes interview to the respondents here the respondents are users of the products and these users will freely give their opinion about normally the respective products and services as to how it is and whether it is a good recommendable not recommendable what changes has to be made etc for example when a person uses soaps say for example Lyril or Rexona the company personnel may ask him normally again how is the soap whether the soap is used for only for uh, used better whether it gives normally again good fragrance whether it cleans the dirt from the body whether there is any side effects of chemicals involved and other things may be asked so in such case respondents can freely answer this so this is done in the case of interview technique second important thing is normally opinion method in the case of the opinion method the respondents are free to express their opinions so the opinion can be again it, it can be favorable unfavorable etc whatever it is or neutral so here normally suppose if you ask I mean, what is the opinion on business line newspaper one can say that it gives only business ideas so in which means that the judgment is clear there and some may say that normally again the things are clear every facts are covered all materials are good provided and all these things so in such case opinion method is also good normally so this is also one, one, one important method and third important thing is normally an expert opinion method in the expert opinion method we contact only the experts Experts are used and experts will never be wrong. Sometimes normally experts have got experience behind them. On the basis of that experience, they share their ideas. When they share their ideas, normally they are quite sure about it and they have experienced that. So in such case, normally that the, their opinion is normally considerable. Any improvement necessary, they will tell right to the face. Anything going wrong, they will also tell on the spot. So in such case, even that has to be considered. Next important thing is normally again, so we come across normally the quantitative methods. In the quantitative methods, we use numbers and through these numbers, we can use the tools and then we can arrive at a particular decision. How is the future of our product? The important quantitative methods which has been used is normally first one is called as correlation method. In the correlation method, normally we try to establish what is the relationship between one, so one variable and other variables. Say demand and supply, what is the relationship? The products, sales and advertising, what is the relationship? We calculate this by using statistics. So in such case, normally again, we come across normally the parameter as to where exactly the demand falls, where exactly is the supply level rate. 
so in such case normally again we are in a position to establish normally what is the relationship between the two that is there second important technique whatever is used here is normally regression method regression method is purely based on cause and effect relationship so for every cause there is equal effect and for every effect there is a cause behind it so for suppose if there is a decline in a sale the cause may be normally the, the product is not so good or product is not covering all the features or competitors products may be good likewise it goes so in such case normally again cause and effect relationship is most important if a new product is launched what is the response in the market or if existing product is normally again add, is coming up with added features without changing the price what is the response rate so that can be again clearly understood by using a regression method so in regression method we come across two important variables the first one is called as dependent variable second one is called as independent variable a dependent variable is one where normally the it is dependent on the values of independent variable for example now sales is normally a independent variable whereas advertisement is a dependent variable the expenses what you make for advertisement the media what you choose the response what you get normally again it de is depend on what basically again sales whatever you get, give the, give to the organization so in such case normally again these two things are considered in the case of regression analysis okay third technique is normally again called as econometric methods application of uh, mathematics to economics so in such case we come across normally different models where normally again the sales can be predicted normally the respective production can be predicted the respective demand and supply can be predicted there by using important tools then most important thing is normally by using simultaneous equation methods so where normally again we find out normally again what is the approximate demand rate what is the approximate supply whatever is happening where there is a gap gap of equilibrium how it is to be filled how it is to be bridged these things can be again made note of after we analyze this thoroughly apply the tool and then based on the results obtained by using these tools we come to a respective conclusions then so likewise it goes the next technique is normally called as multiple regression in the multiple regression we use minimum three variables above two variables we cannot use normal regression we can use multiple regression methods in the multiple regression method normally we also come across normally the what is the relationship between income level demand and normally spending habits if you come across this situation we can use multiple regression there similarly advertisement media chosen and the response rate and the sales so in such case also we can use multiple regression model so in such case now one one is normally the independent variable the rest are normally called as the dependent variables in this particular method so in such case normally again we can see so the, the differences between qualitative method and quantitative method is quantitative method focus on results whereas qualitative method focus only on opinions there is there and qualitative methods may be biased whereas quantitative methods are not biased in qualitative methods normally we can find that your opinion cannot be maintained it cannot be recorded it cannot be used so much whereas a quantitative method whatever is based on the numbers it can be saved recorded it can be used as future li guidelines also for pro forecasting the products okay these things are there so to sum up what i can say is normally the forecasting is very very important because predictions can be done by anyone forecasting has to be made by the company itself forecasting is a base or a future guideline as to how you can improve your products and services how to increase your demand how to bring in normally realistic figures so that an expected target in the economy can be met so that is most important so for the development of the organization what is required is a proper forecasting by a proper person by a proper markets and by a proper period of time this has to be made only then we can find that there is vast stride of progress which can be made by in the organizations thank you very much